Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see implement the Microsoft Purview extension. The Microsoft Purview extension is able to provide existing endpoint DLP capabilities to non-native applications such as the Google Chrome browser. With the Microsoft Purview extension installed, organizations can monitor when a user attempts to access or upload a sensitive item to a cloud service using Google Chrome. Protective actions via DLP can then be enforced. Action taken on sensitive items inside the Chrome browser on user devices are audited or blocked and made visible in the Microsoft Purview DLP Activity Explorer. Let me list down the capabilities or the things that Microsoft Purview extension does. So with the Microsoft Purview extension, companies are able to do the following. Allow users to use Chrome as an approved browser by supporting DLP for working with sensitive data. Create custom and fine-grained DLP policies for Chrome to ensure sensitive data is properly handled and protected from disclosure including audit mode, block with override mode and block mode. So audit mode would record the policy violation events, block with override mode would record and blocks the activity but allows the user to override when they have a legitimate business need. Block mode would record and block the activity without giving the user the ability to override. Companies are also uh, be able to use DLP events from Microsoft Purview extension from Chrome to support insider risk management assessments and investigations and then deliver new insights related to the obfuscation, exfiltration or infiltration of sensitive information by insiders. The Microsoft Purview extension for Chrome can automatically alert users when they take a risky action with sensitive data. Let me show you what all activities are listed. So if you see here, activities such as file copy to cloud, file printed, or file copy to clipboard, file copy to removable storage, or file copy to network share. Description and the supported file actions are, like I said, audit block, block audit block with override block. Now we'll see the steps or the options exist for installing the Microsoft Purview extension for Google. Implementing Microsoft Purview extension, first is the basic setup, single machine self-host. You use a self-service installation via the Chrome Web Store. Second is deploy using Microsoft Endpoint Manager, which is an organization-wide deployment by using Chrome ADMX in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Third is via group policy. This is also an organization-wide deployment by using Chrome ADMX with traditional group policies. So if you talk about the fastest way to deploy the Microsoft Purview extension is the basic setup single machine self-host. You just open the Chrome browser and navigate to the store to download Microsoft Purview extension. You select the add to Chrome button and extension is done. And then you have uh, the deploy using Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So this is for the centralized deployments to Endpoint Manager and Role Devices. A configuration profile with enabled Chrome ADMX and an OMA URI definition con is used. First, the Chrome ADMX must be added to the custom templates in a tenant. Then a second definition in the same configuration profile needs to be created for the Chrome browser extension installation. Okay, then there are some steps that you need to follow uh, and the on the endpoint.microsoft.com. You have to create a profile to add this uh, values in the configuration settings to assign, uh, to, in, to add this, to enable this ADMX or the extension. Then you have an option of deploying with group policy, you just have to create a computer or a user configuration policy under uh, uh, administrative templates to configure this 
extension under Google Chrome setting. Just enter the value from which the the public endpoint or the network path this Chrome extension would be deployed and uh, will be effect on a OU. It can be a computer or a user OU. Then if you want to test the purview extension, let me show you on the portal what you'll do. You go to compliance.com. You come to data loss prevention. Under data loss prevention, you click on activity explorer. And when it comes up, I'm sure it will. Okay. And these are the built-in filters or these filters that you can use to activate the checkbox of application. Apply one more. You see the application here. You see any application here. Uh, once you will have the activity in your in tenant or in your portal, you will see the activity uh, under activity. You will see the event related to the Chrome browser. This is where you can check how it is taking effect after enabling the setting for. Uh, the Microsoft Purview extension. So I hope this video was informative for you. If you still have any questions, please mention them in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.